this is going to be a demo on a section view. So first I got to create a part. I will uh, make the part body the inwork object and we're just going to do it on the axis plane here. For some reason the horizontal is vertical when you go to the XY plane in Katia. We can fix this. I don't know why we have to, but it can be fixed by changing the view. Hit normal once, and uh, most likely the H will go in the negative direction, so you'll hit normal again, and it'll flip it so that the H and V are in the correct position. And um, I'm going to sketch out two rectangles. I'll make it a pretty thick wall. And I'm going to put in a hole. Over here. Ah, oh, shoot. Put a hole. Like so. And another hole. Like so here. You should constrain it and do all that. I'm gonna just go ahead and get to get into a drawing. So I'm gonna exit out and I'll build a pad. Now I always reverse the direction so that the top is on the top. All my constraints are going to come from this top face. It wouldn't make sense to have all the constraints on the bottom and then this be on the the view being created from the top. So I'm going to reverse that direction, select OK. And we're going to go ahead and generate a drawing of this. So work the drafting workbench. We'll just throw in a C size add and see ASME drawing. Well, we're going to create that and hit apply. Um, you may have noticed if I do a fit all in. What happens is it zooms up to the axis for some reason. What you can do is go to your tree, right click on sheet one and reframe on sheet one and it'll zoom down so you can see the border. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a view. So I generate the front view, go back here. Well, oh, let's show you the top view, that's okay. It's like this here, zoom down, made a pretty good size part, it's okay. Oh shoot, I guess I just clicked on it and took it. I'll uh, move that bar over and go to the view, turn off the frame for a sec. Whoops already off. Um, I'm going to turn the frame back on, sorry, so I can move this. All right. If you go to back to the layout, you can project a view. So if I hit project and slide over here or to the top, it's just going to know to create a true orthographic view and it's a true orthographic view because it's lined up with the part. All the edges line up perfectly making it a 90 degree angle from those views giving you an orthographic view. I click on this and it gives me my head lines and the center lines for the whole. But 
you may want to do a cross section. So instead of doing that, I can hit undo. And you have a couple options here. I'll do section view and put a line right in the middle, for example. And it knows that we're in ANSI or ISO standards. Oops. I always do that. You want to double click the last line when you're done. And you want to kind of get make sure you're lined up vertical. Double click it. Now if I put my cursor on this side or I put my cursor over on this side, you'll notice it inverts the arrows on the section. And what we're looking at is toward the arrow. So everything to the right of the vertical line is removed here in America. That's a third angle projection. The first angle projection, which is in Europe, they would be seeing the opposite side. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what it does in this case is it shows me where the cross section is of the part. Now, you see, I can't see the hole here, but I can see the hole here. That is a section view. I'm going to undo that cut. Oh, why won't you let me undo this? I'm going to delete the view. Okay, so that was a section cut. If I do a section, or sorry, that was a section view. If I do a section cut and I make that same line in the middle here, did it again. I make that same line here in the middle and I put my cursor over here. What you're seeing is a cut right through this part only. It's just the cut. Notice that in neither view will I see a hole and I don't see the lines because there are no lines. There's no material here. When I have section view it continues to go this direction and it picks these lines up and puts it in the view. So I'm going to hit undo. I guess it doesn't like that. We'll delete that view out. So section cut and section view, that's the difference between the cut and the view. View continues to show beyond the arrow. Cut is only exactly where you slice apart. It's probably more common to use the section view. I'm going to go through section um, aligned section cut, which I had done earlier, but this time I'm going to line it up with this circle here, come up halfway, click a position, come up halfway here. Click a position, double click here. Oh, what happened? Double click it, and then I put my cursor over here. If I select, what you'll see is I cut through. I cut through the material here. You're seeing the hole where I'm cutting through the material. This is acting like a section view. That shouldn't have scaled it. Uh, this doing us. It looks like it's scaling that view as well. As well, where I'm cutting this material here, and I'm cutting through the hole over here. You'll notice that it's just it's a true cut through the hole. You won't see any material beyond that. Where if I hit undo. Oh God, it doesn't do that. We'll delete that. If I do section aligned, and uh, we'll do the same thing where I line it up with that circle. And I'll come up kind of halfway. Oh shoot, I just double clicked. Okay, you'll notice that you'll see the lines continue on. So I didn't mean to do that. We'll just delete that. So this one here, I'll line it up with that circle.
And we'll come up here to halfway through. Come over here horizontally, and I'll come up here. Double click. Click a position. It's scaling it. Oh, it's weird. It doesn't look like it's doing twice scale either. That, that seems off to me. I'm going to have to go back and review that. But uh, anyways, we're not going to do that. For your uh, homework assignment, I just try to delete that. You're just going to do the section view. Okay, I just wanted you to see the difference between section view, align section view, and section cut and align section cuts. All right, that will give you a little inside. I want you to read unit six in the print reading book and answer the 10 questions in the back. So your homework assignment is to actually use the section cut click here go straight down click a position uh, straight down click a position and then put your view over here and create that section cut you're going to do figure 6-3 in the book draw that part up um, and do the same kind of thing we are not going to apply datums on the drawing for this part. You do not have to put your datums on the drawing for this part. And that concludes this demo.